Last week, we did another feedback session, where people can post their artworks in the community Discord and we give feedback on them live on stream. In this video, you're going to see an excerpt from the stream with a few tips and tricks and guidelines that you might not have heard before that can help you when you're sculpting human characters, especially realistic human characters. That was one that even I realized as we were going over the suggested changes. Of course, if you want to get feedback on your own pieces, make sure to join the Discord. The link will be in the description of this video. Okay, let's go. What I've done then for the nose, I've adjusted the shape a little bit. I've made the nostrils shorter. You can see right here, the nostrils are pretty big. Um, one, one idea that I had for a rule, nostrils don't go over the tip of the nose. You can see right here, they end roughly there. The tip of the nose, I would say, end also roughly there. This one, for example, has, I guess, bigger nostrils, but I think the tip also ends roughly there. What I mean with the tip is what you can see here in green. That is what I mean with the nose tip. So you can see right here, this green part is part of the tip of the nose. The red part is the nostril. As you can see, the nostril doesn't go over the tip of the nose. Looking at the original image, the tip, I would say, ends somewhere over here, but the nostrils go over that. Yeah, you can see the tip roughly ends over here, but the nose, the nostril goes even higher than that. So what I've done here is I just moved them down. There you go. Just you know, made them thinner. So if we would, if I would kind of um, draw in what the nose tip would look like, there you go, like this. That's probably where the tip ends. You can see the nostrils go even higher than that. So what I would do is I would move them down a little bit. Maybe to there. I also, I think I, I made the nose a little bit thinner. Of course, that is maybe a little bit more subjective. I also made this nose shape into a T shape, you could say. What we've discussed last time is that the nostril basically doesn't go to the middle of the nose, the bridge that you could see right here, but it actually goes like into or to the side of that bridge. So what happens is it um, goes from the middle to the outside and then it goes in again, but it doesn't connect to down here. It connects to the inside of the nose. He included it. What um, you can do to make it look more a little bit more natural is you can just kind of change the shape a little bit to make it pretty horizontal at the end. This one, for example, is a good reference. You can see it goes in and then pretty horizontal into the middle. You can see it, it, it it's pretty flat. There's not really a big curvature anymore. This one too, pretty flat, and then just goes right into the center, maybe even upwards again. So what I've done is I've just moved it up a little bit. I've kind of removed this um, downwards curve and just made it slightly, you know, more horizontal. I um, changed the thickness of the eyebrows. One thing you need to watch out for is that eyebrows are the widest in the middle of the face and they get thinner the further out they go. You can see right here, it's the widest here. Then at some point you can see it gets thinner, 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 and then it goes even, even thinner. Let's see if we can find some thick eyebrows. You can see here, for example, wide, thinner, 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 until it reaches the end, which is completely back, gone. <laughs> so you can, even if you don't want to change the thickness, I guess, you can change the shape. So what I've done here is I've adjusted the thickness, especially up here. I've just kind of lowered everything. Um, yeah, overall, just the, the eyebrow shape is more like this rather than this. <laughs> so the widest part isn't here it is somewhere here in the front so what we could either do is we can move this up or we can move this down i think what i, what I want to do here to make this um you know to, to change it up compared to the photoshop file is i'm going to move this one up right here just to kind of thin out the eyebrows a little bit right there i think they're a little bit too high now let's move them down there you go okay for the eyes, what I've done is I've changed the eye shape, I guess you could say. I've added new eyes because the current eyes make it look very crazy. <laughs> we talked about it before. The iris is bigger than the opening of the eye. What I mean is that oftentimes the iris, looking at the references here, the iris ends or touches the bottom eyelid. It slightly maybe goes underneath it and then it gets covered maybe a third, maybe even half by the upper eyelid you can see it right here touches the bottom eyelid covered get covered gets covered by the upper eyelid i uh, hear the same this one even more upper eyelid completely or 
covers way more than the previous result uh, examples here. It's quite open, the eyes, but you can still see it touches the, at least touches the bottom eyelid and top eyelid. For this one, it barely touches the top eyelid, doesn't touch the lower eyelid at all. So what I've done is I've added new eyelid, I, I, irises, <laughs> which look, there it is, made them bigger. Change the eyes in a way that they look more natural, pretty simple actually. What we'll do is we'll, what is that geometry? How did you do that? Did you tri triangulate everything? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> so if you want to flatten multiple vertices or like a part of a geometry, what you can do is you can select everything. And then what you can do is you can scale. You select the axis that you want to flatten it on. So if you say scale on X and then you say zero, everything gets flattened in that axis. We don't want to flatten it on the X axis though. We want to flatten it on the Y axis, zero. And now everything's perfectly flat. There you go. What I want to do then is I want to bring it back. And then the eyes are just a little bit bigger. Maybe they can even be even bigger than that. One thing that I adjusted is the eye shape. Generally speaking, coming from the corner of the eye, the lower eyelid is relatively horizontal and the upper eyelid is, has a curved shape. So you can see here, relatively horizontal, curved shape, relatively horizontal, curved shape, relatively horizontal, curved shape. Or you could say slightly curved, big curve. So if we would apply that to this here too, what I've done is I've moved the corner of the eye just slightly lower so that this curve is not as big anymore and this curve gets bigger. So the shape is basically like this, <laughs> basically. One more thing that I want to show you or that I want to that I want to adjust that because that was so apparent to me is the neck anatomy. Let's look at the let's, let's look at um, Roberto. OK, though, that's his muscle right here. It starts it starts at the back of his head. That's where the neck muscle connects to. Then you can see it goes down and then it moves forward. So there, it basically covers this entire area. It, that's here's where the shoulder joint is. And it even goes in front of that shoulder joint. So it basically joins with the shoulder. It creates one line that then goes to the back of the head. You can even see this line right here. So if you would translate that to your sculpt, the neck anatomy comes from here. Attachment zip, goes to the front and then, oh no, it does this. <laughs> it just ends. What happens though is it goes down here, connects to the collarbone. So you need volume right here. This, this void needs to be filled. <laughs> you can have a pretty clear line here where um, the muscle is going to the back right here. And then you fill this area. If you have a clear collarbone, it's easier. It would look like this. The collarbone is curved, so it looks like this. And then we can fill this up with the volume. Then we have the uh, neck muscles right here, going to the middle here. This part here is just filled by other muscles too. So it has a certain thickness here. Then we have another muscle that goes away from this muscle right here. In the end, it looks kind of like like this. There you go. Might be still a little bit scuffed, but I think that's a good beginning. There you go. We can maybe fill this a little bit. There you go. So the main takeaway here, woo, this, this is not a hole. This is filled by muscle because it connects to the collarbone. Let's go to the before and after. That's after, I mean before. After, before, after, before, after, before. I hope these tips were helpful to you. How many of these did you already know? There are so many small details on the face that I could probably do a whole series of these tips and tricks for videos. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like. If you didn't, make sure to dislike and tell me in the comments why. To see all of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to join one of my live streams where we create various products, do these feedback sessions and more, make sure to subscribe to my live channel or join the Discord to get notified when I go live. Links for both will be in the description. I hope you have a great day and maybe I'll see you next time. See ya!